Hey everybody, I'm back. I've just been thinking a little bit about some things uh, going on. I've been learning some things lately and seeing some things that I didn't really know was out there that bad. And I didn't. So anyhow, I've been thinking a lot about you know the competitiveness amongst allies and um, and how sad that is that we're not focused on solidarity, that we're not focused on the movement of trying to take a dent out of white supremacy, of trying to dismantle and destroy white supremacy, that some of us are more interested in competing and hating on our allies in this movement. And if you think about history and you think about today and the future, this has always happened in this movement. You know, all allies, all people, all humans are imperfect and um, everybody makes mistakes. And, you know, if you look at Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, um, so many people today, Tavis Smiley, Cornell West, um, Elijah Hamilton, Molly Secors, just people you may not have heard of, or you do, you have heard of, um, Louis Farrakhan, you know, there's so many people that, um, have done great things, you know, for this movement, but all these people have one thing in common. They were hated by people within their own movement, myself included. And so while they had a tremendous amount of support, they always had those people that called themselves allies that hated them and persecuted them. And um, so, and even some of them were murdered. Malcolm X was, was murdered by some of his own people in his own movement. But, um, but anyhow, so my point is this, you know, it's like this. Elijah Hamilton said this other day on his Facebook page. Um, this movement is like a tree and there's many branches and all those branches are allies. And a lot of those branches are producing fruit, but then you have some branches that are producing poison and they poison the tree. And when you poison the tree, there's a potential of the tree dying. And that's kind of what he was saying. Not exactly like that, but I thought it was a good analogy because it makes sense to me. Are you producing poison or are you producing fruit? Are you focused on hating allies or are you focused on the movement? Because I can tell you that if you're more, if you're putting more energy into hating allies, no matter who they are and not putting more energy into the movement in general, then you're poison. You're, you're, you're fighting for the enemy. You're literally working for the enemy because divided we fall. If we cannot get organized and become some sort of a unit, some sort of um, uh, solidarity and move forward together in unity, then we all fail. The movement fails. So I just, I, this is something I, I've seen the last six weeks since I become part of this and something that I didn't know how bad it was until I become, I got all this attention suddenly with these viral videos. And so I just want to encourage everybody to think about when you criticize an ally and you go after an ally that's producing fruit, that's doing good work, what are you doing? You're working for the enemy. Everybody. I've never, ever put down a, an, a, an ally unless they were attacking or doing something completely ignorant or, or poisonous to the movement. But you'll never, ever hear me put down an ally. As, as a white ally, of course I'm a student. Of course I have to be taught by people of color. That's not my point here. We all, have, as white allies, and Tim Wise knows this, and Elijah Hamilton knows this, and Molly Secors, and all the other white allies that are out there doing this work, they know, there's one thing they know, those people that I named, that you have to be a student of people of color, we have to listen, and we're doing our best. But it's not just that. I see, I, I see the way that that uh, Malcolm X was treated. I see the way Martin Luther King, Cornel West, uh, so many people, James Baldwin were treated by his own people. Marcus Garvey, even he had people in his own movement that worked against him. So I guess it's human nature to hate. <laughs> but if you're going to hate, hate the thing you're fighting against. Don't, don't hate the people that are fighting with you. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm just saying it's crazy. The fuck is wrong with people? But anyhow, I just want to put that out there and um, and it's something for some people to think about. I want to encourage people to stop the infighting. If we can't get organized, if we can't have solidarity, if we can't come together and do this work, yes, we all have different personalities, different styles, and we all have egos and we're all passionate about these issues. But look at the big picture, folks. Look at the bottom line. 
We all have the same end game. We all have the same vision for the same end game. Destroy white supremacy. That's what we're all trying to do here, is it not? Isn't that kind of, we're all doing it in different ways, right? So many different ways. There's a thousand different ways we're doing it, right? I'm doing it by asking white people to take white race responsibility and other things I plan on doing as well. Some people are doing it by black empowerment. That's great. I love Farrakhan, by the way. I always have loved Farrakhan. I love Tim Wise. You'll never, ever see me criticize or, or put down an ally. Why? Because they're, they're in the same fight I'm in. And that's the way it's supposed to be. So, but back on Farrakhan, he said things I don't agree with. But you know what? I love his charisma. He, he said a majority of things that were true. And he speaks from his heart. He's made mistakes just like I have. We all make mistakes. But his truth is powerful. His voice is powerful. So I admire the man. He's not perfect, but I admire him. Just like I admire Tim Wise and all, and all the other allies. I admire them. And I admire the strength that they take to do this. Because I'm learning just how much strength it takes to do this. Because there's so many haters. You don't, you don't really get hate from, from the, 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 the conservative white nationalists, the conservative white supremacists. You get hate from your own. <laughs> I'm learning that now, which makes no sense to me. But then I have to see how it happened to all these other people that, that are out there fighting. But anyhow, I just wanted to say that, put it out there. And just please, everybody, think about solidarity before you attack an ally. Um, yes, I think I've said enough. Made my point. Thank you, guys. Bye.